second graders. Because we're not in the classroom, it's very difficult for us to make Mother's Day gifts for your mothers this year. So what I'm gonna do is teach you a few things that you can do at home if you find some paper, maybe a glue stick and some markers. And I'm gonna show you how to make a simple pop-up card. So first what we're gonna do is take two pieces of paper. This is gonna be the inside of my card and this is gonna be the outside of my card. I have some thicker cardstock paper, but if you have just regular paper, that will work just fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold my paper right like that. So I have the crease on the inside. I'm gonna take this side here, not the open side, but this side here with the fold, and I'm gonna put a little dot about right in the middle. And then I'm going to go out mm, a few inches and put another little dot. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut in a line from there to there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so this is going to be the mouth of my frog. So to make the mouth open, I'm going to make a triangle shape here by pushing out and folding up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right like that. Then I'm gonna push them back down, flip my paper over, and do the same thing on the other side. I want the fold to be flexible. I may even do it one more time just to make sure the fold is very, very flexible and it can move pretty easily. So now I'm gonna open the card very gently and carefully. And then you can see that's where the little mouth would be, but I want it to pop up. So what I'm gonna do is put my hand behind the card and pop it forward. So I'm putting my hand behind the card and popping it forward, right like that. Then I'm gonna close it and push it down and open it back up. And if you notice, it looks like a little mouth talking. You can turn these into little chicks, you can turn them into birds, you can turn them into frogs, whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna turn mine into a frog. So what I'm gonna do now is get some markers and crayons and I'm going to color my frog. I'm gonna protect my table back here. What I usually like to do is draw a marker line. Oh, got a little bit messy here. Along my folds. I also like to do a little marker line across the open mouth part like that. So when you open it, you can, you can see it a little bit better. I'm just gonna make these a little thicker so they all match. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is little nostrils. And then I'm gonna do the eyes. The eyes kind of bug out on the top of the frog. So it's gonna go like this. And then the inside of the frog's eye is gonna go right in the center. And there he is, he can talk now. Um, now I'm gonna do the little legs. So he kind of goes up like that and out. Then I'm gonna do three little toes for my little frog and go in like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And my little toes, one, two, and three. Kind of goes around like that a little bit. 
And now I'm gonna do some little legs in the front, kind of in a similar way. So I'm gonna go down and go one, two, three, and then down, one, two, three. Kind of like that. And then these are like the little legs that go up. And then this will be the rest of the little body. Like that. So there's my little frog. He's pretty cute. So then what I like to do, even though it's colored paper, I like to use my crayons. And I like to do a little bit of shading. So I'm taking all the green colors I can find. Some yellows look nice too. And then I'm gonna put the darker colors towards my marker lines. Okay, there's my darkest color. Then I'm gonna go in with kind of a medium shade because the card's yellow, but I wanted my frog to be green. There's my little medium shade. Sometimes his little mouth gets popped in, so you have to pop it back out. I'm gonna use my lighter shade. My lighter shade looks great in the center of shapes. Take my white crayon, oh yeah, that's working pretty well. To go on the inside of the eye, and then I use a black for the center. Yeah, I like that better, that makes him pop. I may even take this black for the little nostrils there too. What I'm gonna do is take my background paper and I'm gonna fold it just like I had folded the first page, just like a card. I'm lining up these edges, pushing this down. And this one I'm not gonna cut because this is gonna be the background. So this card gets nestled right inside like that, and then you glue it together. When I glue it, I wanna be careful not to glue this part here because then his little mouth is gonna get stuck. So when I glue it, I'm actually gonna put the glue here and then fold it over. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so there's one side. Now when I put it in, I'm gonna be really careful to try to line everything up. And then I can press it down. Okay, so there's one side. And now I can push this side down and put the glue on this side here. You have grandma at home or auntie or mom, whoever's at home, maybe even dad too, even though it's not Father's Day yet. Um, they would love getting these little cards from you, especially because you made it on your own by yourself. So here's our little frog. So now you can write your message. I might put Happy Mother's Day. And it's okay if you push these in just so you can write on it because you can always get your little finger in there and pop it back up.
So here is our pop-up frog card all colored in. You can have of course, put to mom, love, and your name and decorate the front however you want to. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you get stuck, remember to pause it and go back and um, watch the parts that you need to. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, second graders. Bye.